Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get Homebrew on your PSP version 6.20. I have a PSP 3000. It should work on all PSPs, even on the PSP Go. But on the PSP Go, even less Homebrews should work, and there's not many that work already. Um, anyway, um, first of all, for those of you who don't, don't know why there's not a lot of Homebrews running it, it's because it's a save game exploit. Um, and here's the explanation for safe game exploit for those of you who don't know. It's um, basically it's a mistake found in the game, and that you can load a save uh, a hacked save data, and the save data is just what you ever use like when you play a game and you can save it, and then that's um, so you can load it up next time you don't have to start over again. That's the save data, um, but you're gonna download a save a hacked save data. Which will then allow you to run homebrews to load up homebrews, but not a lot homebrews will work. Seriously, I'm gonna go with PS Plasma right now, which is just some colors in your screen. Okay, so first you wanna go to your internet browser, and um, so um, okay, here's the download link for the Patapon 2 demo. Uh, just download it down here. Okay, I'm going to click download. Actually, before I do this, let me empty my downloads folder. And you're going to click open with or save, whatever you want. And then just let me clear this list too. So that I don't get mixed up with the older files and stuff. There you go. Um, so here's downloading. And while that's downloading, I'm going to go to this page, also in the description. And you're going to download the save game data. Uh, here's the download button, the orange one. So you're gonna click that and wait for a few seconds, and it will start. You know, the save file actually. Um, so as you can see there, I think it's already done. <laughs> Smart. And here you're gonna download the half byte loader down here. The link will also be in the description. And here it says um, on the page before it said a bit of information about why you can't run most of the homebrew and stuff. Just a bit. Okay, and most of it's done now. Um, where are the downloads? Hello? Here. Okay, so Padawan 2 demo is still downloading. But while that is, you can already plug in your PSP. Um, just plug in the USB cable on top of your PSP and into your computer. Um, and you can open up the folder. Now you're going to extract the ghost plot or the, uh, that's just a save data, and this is the uh, half byte loader. You're going to extract the save data first, the ghost plot.rar. You need an extractor, of course. I have unrarx from Mac. Uh, and here, as you can see, there's a save data. You're just going to drag that into your PSP folder and your save data folder in here. That's where you need it. Now, um, I'm going to go for the uh, this one, the help byte loader. Extract it. Good. And here's the source thing. And you're just going to get all the files from the um, e-loader. You're going to get config you're gonna get h.bin and you're gonna get hbl.bin so let me just do those and then lbs or something a folder here lib libs and you're just gonna go all of those into your PSP folder into um, your root yeah into just your PSP folder and that's pretty much it now you need the Patapon 2 demo and you also need PS Plasma, which I'm gonna get in a second. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get it now. So you're gonna Google it. Let's go close these and you're gonna Google PS Plasma. So not a lot of games work, like I said. There's a list of games that work. The link will be in the description. And it will just say fail or works. And there's really few that work. Okay, here PSP download PS Plasma download. Um, you open it, yes, and as you can see, it's already done. Padapon 2 is almost done as well. And here is what I just downloaded, and it has the eboot.pbb 
PBP file and you're going to extract uh, you're going to get that into oops oh now it's gone nice you're going to get that into your PSP folder into um, the root again here ebo.p okay the Patapon 2.zip you're going to un um, unzip it so extract it I don't know what you use, I use the Archive, uh, Archive something utility that came with Mac. Um, and you're going to just drag this whole folder into your PSP folder, into PSP here, into game. And um, now you're done. And now remember this. So, um,. Whatever game you want to load, you want to load the eboot.pbp file from that homebrew into the um, into the root, and um, you can only have one homebrew at a time active. Um, that's really negative, actually. Um, but yeah, it's better than nothing. And um, you leave the rest as it is. Only the eboot.pbp file needs to be changed. Now, of course, what you can do if you don't have internet wherever you're going at, but you have a computer, is you can drag a second one in and you can name it, for example, eboot2.pbp or 3 then, whatever, and you can put it in here. And now all you have to do is connect your PSP, you don't even need internet, and you name this to 3 and rename this to, to eboot.pbp. And then, yeah and you can change games around as long as you have a computer but for now we're not going to do that oops not that oh jeez um let me just rename this to eboot.p so i don't get mixed up good close that and um, now you can eject your psp and um now you can go to your PSP and click circle to go back and as you can see here I'm going to go to system settings system information let me just make sure I cover the MAC address and as you can see I have version 6.20 and now I'm going to show you how to run the homebrew so you're going to go to game memory stick, press X or whatever you have to confirm it and you're going to load this demo, press X now this should load really fast since it's a small program uh, game I should say um, and here when the screen comes up you're going to press uh, would you like to create a new save file? no make sure to press no, so press X and now continue playing anyway, yes. Um, now you just get away. And here you can just press X. No, as soon as that pyramid comes, you can press X. And here you're going to make sure the sword is next to continue. And you're going to load that. And now you're going to just press X in this game. As soon as it says load completed, you're going to press back, circle. Now wait, and as soon as it says press any button here, just press the X button, or any other button. I'm going to press X. And as soon as it's in the game like this, you're just going to press the R button. I pressed it, I'm not going to press it again. And now PS Plasma will load. There you go. Oh, it still has the sound from the game, but who cares. And here's PS Plasma. Um, now, don't press home and press quit game. Don't do that. It won't work. It will take forever. Then all you can do to stop it is take out the battery because you can't shut it down while it's, uh, while it's loading home. Um, so what you need to do, you need to shut down your PSP. So for those of you who don't know how to do that, there are quite a many, quite a few. You can hold up this shutdown button for about three seconds. And as soon as this light blinks, you can turn it, um, you can let it go. And then to turn it on, all you have to do is turn it on again. So bye bye, I'll see you guys next time.